Hi everyone, today we are going to focus on how to set up longitudinal service. Specifically, I am going to show you how to link two services using anonymous link and query strings. By the end of this video, you will be able to seamlessly redirect your respondent to a second survey. Let's get started. In your first survey, go to the survey flow, click on add a new element here, add an embedded data element and name it. Then click on set value now, insert pipe text and in this case I want to save the selected choice of question 1. Remember to repeat this process with all of the information that you want to save as embedded data so you can transfer it to the next survey. After doing this, click on add a new field and name it login ID. This will be a random number that will be assigned to every respondent. Since I want a 5 digit number, I'm setting the minimum as 10,000 and the maximum as 99,999. Once you have added all the embedded data elements, click on the apply button on the bottom right corner. In your second survey, go to the distributions tab and click on get a single reusable link. This is your anonymous link. In case your response collection is paused, you will see this pop-up window and you will need to resume it. Then you can click on copy survey link. Once you have the link, go back to your first survey and paste the link in one of your questions. Then you need to add the query strings. Firstly, a question mark followed by the embedded data name and then a equal sign. Then you will need to insert pipe text. In this case, it will be our login ID. In order to add a following query string, you will need to use the AND symbol and repeat the process for all the embedded data that you want to transfer to the new survey. Here I'm adding the embedded data elements that I defined earlier in the video. Once your survey link is complete, copy it, click on your end of survey block, change the end of survey message to redirect to URL and paste the URL. Then in order to save your changes, click on the publish button on the top right corner. For the last step, go back to your second survey. Go to the survey flow and add a new embedded data element. Here, enter the names of the embedded data that you have in your query string and leave the value empty. This will be set automatically from the URL. Once you have set all of the embedded data fields, click on move and move the embedded data element to the top of the survey flow. 